This is Patrick. Hi. And uh, we're playing a little show just down the road, and we decided that it would be cool to come by and get abducted with you guys. So I noticed a lot of people called us out as well, so we figured that uh, why not join the cause. And uh, hi. <laughs> you just made me blush. <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out because usually I'd be able to hide behind a base, and right now I feel like uh, I'm not able to hide behind anything. I'm going to go back here a little bit. <laughs> so we first got involved uh, last year with this place, me, and we went in the Orange County one and hung out in a cardboard city and realized that that probably just wasn't enough for us. We didn't really understand how it worked on the ground in Uganda. So we decided to go to Uganda to film a video, and originally the idea was you go to Uganda and have kind of Fall Out Boy meets Uganda documentary style video. But when we got there, we realized that that wasn't going to be nearly as dangerous or as informative as actually creating a narrative in Uganda. And so uh, we came to that conclusion based on the idea that people are the same everywhere across the country, across the globe. It just matters what longitude or latitude you're born in. And the same feeling, the same love, the same interest, the same smiles, the same sadness that you saw anywhere else. And we decided to do a video that was kind of a, a Ugandan love story, but it involved, uh, I guess, some of the, the situation that was going on down there. And it was based on a, a basic narrative that we were told. And uh, we put that video out, we went to Uganda. I felt uh, a change inside me that. I had planned on feeling a change. I was like, you know, you go to Africa, you're going to change, something's going to be different. But it was something that I probably couldn't explain to anyone who hasn't been there. And I have a hard time expressing to my friends in general. But uh, earlier this year, I had, well, five months earlier this year, I had a son. And uh, <laughs> give it up for babies. <laughs> and uh, I was talking to my mom. Uh, and we were talking about him in general and kind of how I was a jerk when I was a little kid and uh, not really, we didn't go too far into that, but um, we started talking about child soldiers and, and Joseph Coney and, and these 30,000 kids that have been essentially kidnapped and have guns forced into their hands and have been indoctrinated and stolen from their families. And my mom was like, well, if a kid can't grow up as a kid, how could you ever expect them to be normal? How could you ever expect them to have a regular life? And I could only think about that in relation to my son. And I was like, I don't think that there should be any child on earth that should have to go through that or be a part of that in any way whatsoever. So that's how we decided that we wanted to do it. That's how we decided that we wanted to be involved this day. And I think it's awesome that all you guys showed up here because it's hot as hell here. <laughs> Honestly, take your shirt off. <laughs> that, was directed, that, that question, I believe, was directed at you. <laughs> Get on the mic. Right, um, so obviously, uh, we only went to Uganda for six days or something like that. Um, and we only really got to experience a tiny, tiny amount of what's happening there. Um, Probably the most chilling thing to know about is that when we did, we, so we did a video, we did a music video, which is a video pop musician, which is a music video, right? And uh, we got there in that context. Um, in the narrative that he's talking about, uh, we had some kids, we, we got together, all the, everybody, all the actors are local people, all the, all the actors were Ugandans. And um, we had the local kids uh, act it out, you know, act out getting abducted and everything. And the thing that was horrifying was how it didn't, we didn't have to tell them anything. They did it. They knew it. This is something that is a part of their lives. This is something that's a part of the fabric of what's the, of the community there. Um, and so it's, you know, it's kind of, <laughs> that video is the best thing we've ever done. And I think we're the worst part of it. Part of it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of, I would recommend saying it, uh, just for that, you can watch the sound off if you want. Um, but uh, I think just, it's, it's kind of hard to talk about. It's actually really, it's really upsetting when you see it in person. You know, when you see, when you see how it is. So I think that's the, that's the key of why we're here right now. Um, 
is those 30,000 people, that's, they affect so many more people. You know, I mean, it's one of these things where even after, uh, even after, you know, hopefully everything happens that we're, that we're working towards, there's still, uh, there's still a lot more work to do. So uh, I think that's why it's all the more important to get this going right now. with us. Uh, our buddy Alex is there with us every night. We kind of haze him a little bit. Yeah, give it up for Alex. We haze him a little bit. Right. And we talk about it a little bit, right? And we started getting reviews where people were saying, you know, you don't get too deep into the political stuff. Your audience is either too young or too dumb to understand what's going on. And uh, you should just stick to the music. And the thing that I thought was the scariest thing about that statement is this, this is a person that's part of a generation that's probably a little bit older than mine, and my generation's probably a little bit older than most of yours, but this person is sitting here and telling you to be complacent because they think you're too stupid to understand the messages and the words and the photographs that are coming out of these places, and this is the generation that will actually make the change, so, yeah. but I didn't assume what they would be. Anyway, uh, that being said, I think that it's awesome that you guys are all here, but I think that it cannot stop here. We need to make sure that we take cameras and take them outside of places like Los Angeles where they follow douchebags like me around and take them to places like Sri Lanka and to Burma and to the Congo and into northern Uganda. The peace is here if we want it to be. The war is over if we want it to be. You guys are awesome.